The numbers from a season ago for Luis Castillo from Western and Southern slanted heavily toward the end when he was one of baseball's best. Yeah, you look at that 8 and 16 record. To third base, clean pick Drury, second one, double play. That is what Castillo does among the best in the game. He does with that movement, he does induce a lot of ground balls. And Castillo strikes him out. He's back. A K and a ground ball double play faces the minimum. Brandon Woodruff, second straight start against the Reds. Yeah, coming off a really good start. 12 punch outs, third time in his career he's had a 12 strikeout game. There's strike three called, 97 at the knees. Strikeout number one. Anytime you go back to back starts against the same team, you wonder if you're going to change it up a little bit. No need to do that when you had the success that Woodruff had. There's a swing and a miss. He threw that sinker down low. Back to back strikeouts. Not even close to the strike zone way, almost in the dirt. Pham drives one out towards right. Going to hang up, though, for Hunter Renfro for the final out of the inning. A couple of strikeouts in the lineup for Brandon Woodruff. One inning complete in Cincinnati. Payoff out in front, swing and a miss. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a changeup right there. You know, 95, 96 miles an hour, you can see the changeup grip. And there on three pitches, Castillo Hayes Renfro. Scoreless game in the second. Colin Moran leads off. Moran to left center. Bam, bam, will not be denied. He is hot. That is home runs in three straight at bats for Colin Moran. And this one gives the Reds a 1 0 lead. And a swing and a miss. Good change up. Strikeout number three for Brandon Woodruff. Throw right there, gets another strikeout. Four strikeouts of the first five outs recorded by Woodruff. And again, I mean, back to back starts against the same team and pretty much the same group. This one to third. Luis Urias, plenty of time for him. A high throw. Peterson able to apply the tag on Farmer. And the inning is over. But Colin Moran and the Reds have a 1 0 lead as we go to the third in Cincinnati. He's a veteran. You know, you expect him to come out here. He wasn't too hyped out on the mound, but this is what you expect. This is what a number one looks like. Gets the ground ball. Gets a one, two, three inning. With some Super Bowl appearance flavor in the house, the Reds have the lead. Naquin just a close contact. Senzel still fighting some pretty bad symptoms. There's a swing and a miss. Good slider there from Brandon Woodruff. Fifth strikeout of the eight batters he's faced. This one hit out towards left. Yelich long run nearing the line. Yelich slides and makes the catch. Great play by Christian Yelich for out number two. Yeah, that was a fair ball as well. That's a heck of a play by Christian Yelich. That wind was blowing that ball further and further away from him. He needed every bit of his speed to be able to make up ground to catch that. So the base are going to be loaded now for Colin Moran. Big moment of this game, just in the bottom of the third. And a ground ball right into the shift. Colton Wong gets a nice convenient hop, flips to Peterson, and Brandon Woodruff puts up a zero. Red strand three in the third. On the fourth, still just one nothing. And he strikes him out. That's four K's for Castillo. Runner off, pitch away, throw down, no shot. Great jump by Colton Wong. Yeah, I don't know if Luis Castillo just lost focus right there, but Colton Wong looked like he was on his horse and running. Two on and only one out for Rowdy Telez. Telez, a bullet into left center field. It's down, and it's going to get by Almora all the way to the wall. That's going to get two runs in for the Brewers as they take the lead on a two-run double from Rowdy Telez. Brewers have the lead against Luis Castillo. Grounded to short, Farmer. But Rowdy Telez doubles home a pair. And the Reds trail. Facing such a heavy right-handed hitting light up, he said he wants to establish fastball and curveball, slider as well. But in that last start, it was heavy fastball changeup. Great throw here from Omar Narvaez and a better tag from Colton Wong. They got him on the leg. And Naquin 
He's staying on the bag for a while. Now he gives up. Sometimes it really pops into the strike zone. It gets on hitters very fast. Farmer out towards right. Renfro's there, and the struggles continue for Farmer. He's 0 for 2 today and 0 for his last 33. He caught stealing from Omar Narvaez. He'll lead it off in the fifth. Omar Narvaez will lead things off the Brewers. Milwaukee leading it 2 to 1. Omar deep into right field. Back Friedel, warning track wall. Omar Narvaez, a long home run. Second one of the year for Omar. Uh, that was a no doubt of the right field on the changeup from Castillo. And Omar made him pay. Twisted him up. Fifth strikeout for Castillo. Move that they made. Farmer recovers. And it looks like we're going to get a challenge Milwaukee here. Milwaukee is challenging the out call at second base. After the review, the call in the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Milwaukee will retain their challenge. And Bell's going to make a move. So Castillo thought he had gone five. He'll fall an out short. 1-0 from Sessa. Ripped to right. Friedel holds his footing. Secures the third out. Friedel does not yet have a sacrifice in the big leagues. Friedel shoots it to left center. Down base hit. Almora around third. He scores. Reynolds stop sign late. Stumbles on a slide. And head first plunge back into the bag. Reds within a run on a double and an RBI by T.J. Friedel. High in the air, deep center field. Taylor back. Drury does it. Straight away center field over the 404 sign. And Brandon Drury has put the Reds back on top. 5-3 to three Cincinnati. I mean, Tommy, that's no easy pitch to get to. That's a fastball up around the letters. And he barreled it to dead center. Well, for Woodruff, things just got a little sideways for him here in this fifth inning. Just four and a third. That gets off Narvaez's glove. Fan breaks for home and scores. Six, three, Cincinnati. And he lines one into left field. That's down a base hit. A Reese is going to be sent to round third. Here comes a throw from Fam. It's cut off. A two out, two strike base hit by Tyrone Taylor. Line shot back up the middle by Jace Peterson. Narvaez is going to come in and score. Streaking to third is Tyrone Taylor. Happy birthday, Jace Peterson, and knocking a stake. Boy, bullet, too. 98 miles an hour up. Tommy Pham has been aboard twice. A walk, a single, a steal. Grounded through, base hit. Amora scores. Friedel turns and holds. Tommy Pham. Ribby single, 7-5. The Reds have put their first two men on the base now with three consecutive innings. Farmer in the air, deep right center field. Taylor back, gone! Oh, what a heck of a way to break out of a tough hitting streak. A three-run home run for Kyle Farmer. 10-5 Reds. Struck him out. The bullpen ends it with 10 in a row retired. The offense hangs a 10 spot on the board. And the Reds have won back-to-back -back games for the first time this year.